Asana is my preferred project management tool, so today I wanted to highlight some features that you may not be aware of but could be total game changers for you. These are commonly more unknown features from my experience working with online business owners in Asana. Let me know in the comments which you knew about and which you didn't. The first feature is messages. Did you know that you can send general messages within Asana? Like not comments and tasks, but completely separate messages outside of any task, outside of any project. A lot of people I've talked to don't realize that this is a feature in Asana, so I wanted to make sure to include it in this video. Who needs a separate messaging app when your project management system has it built in? The next feature I wanted to share with you is that you can star people. So if you're not familiar, Asana has a starred section where you can add a list of projects that you want to have quick access to. But did you know that you can also star people to appear in this list? So if there's someone that you collaborate with often or you want to regularly check in on their tasks, you can star that person so that you can have quick and easy access to viewing their information and task lists. We love to save time with Asana. <laughs> The next feature I want to tell you about is appreciation stickers. So in the comments section of all tasks, there is an option to send an appreciation sticker. This is a fun way to show your team members that you think that they're doing a great job and share some appreciation with them through Asana's unique and fun way. <laughs> Just send over the appreciation sticker in the comments and your team member will be notified of your appreciation for them. The next feature I want to tell you about is saving project views and filters. So Asana allows you to make your project customized to how you prefer to view them. You can set filters and choose default views so that every time you open your project, it will appear in that view with those filters already set. So you don't have to go through and set up those filters again every time. You can always make changes too if you change your mind of how you want to view the project and then you can save it that way instead. You can also save it in different ways with Asana's new feature where you can have it saved in one view but in multiple ways. So if you want to be able to open it with only incomplete tasks showing, but you also sometimes want to open it sorted by assignee, you can actually save it in both ways now, in separate tabs. And so you can choose which preset way you want to view it next time you open it. The next feature I want to let you know about is unscheduled tasks. If you're like me and you like to view your My Tasks section as a calendar view, then you won't see any tasks on there that don't have a due date because the calendar view shows the tasks with a due date on the calendar or the date that they are scheduled. But there is a hidden feature that you may not be aware of. You can actually go to the side and choose to view the unscheduled tasks right from the calendar view. You can then schedule them with due dates so they are appearing on your My Tasks or just keep in mind that you do have that list of unscheduled tasks there that haven't been assigned a date yet, and maybe you just want to tackle them over time without the deadline. If you haven't already, make sure to grab my free Asana SOP system template for free on my website, samanthacasbrick.com freebies. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful for you. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments, and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.